Uh. Okay, so this is try testing audio levels. Okay, so this is try testing audio levels. Okay, so this is try testing audio levels. All right, audio levels sound great. Uh. All right, everyone. Hello. 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 Uh, I think it's safe to assume that the time has finally come for me to play Soul Calibur 6. And can I just say, I love this title. I love this title. It glows blue and then to red for like Calibur and the and Soul Edge. I love it. All right, sweet. Well, alrighty, everyone. This is gonna be my first time playing. Uh, I want to say through the because uh, I I saw that there were like multiple campaigns. Um, sorry, gotta quench my thirst here. So I saw that there were multiple campaigns, and we are just going to begin the um, the one that was the create your own custom character. I guess like the custom character. Um, uh, path, I guess you could say. But, uh, anywho, gang, um, if you are ready, I am ready. Hey! It's Lich! Lich is here! You know what's up. So, um, yeah, we're gonna jump right in. Uh, I guess we're gonna do the campaign where I just read the instruction. It said create a custom character. Um, it's called the Libra of Soul. And, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just see what's at. All right, gang, let's begin. This weekend, we gotta have a fight in this game, man. I'm just gonna let you know. It's just gonna, for me personally, it's gonna be a button smash marathon. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely get together about that. Um, uh, as long as it's somewhere in the morning, um. I will say this, that I will be completely free Sunday. I should be free Sunday. I just gotta do grocery shopping on Sunday, and that shall be it on that front. Alright, gang. Well, because this is on computer, I need to make some adjustments. Alright, let's go to options. Alright, so I don't know... Okay, so this is all... Okay, so this is all... We yeah. have... Okay, so 7 is the default, huh? Alright, let's lower down this. Probably, definitely lower that down. Character voice, so make that a 9. Make this a 10. One. Fight. Okay. I'm hoping that that's not, like... You know, ear deafening. Sunday's your only day off? Yeah, then we can definitely do it Sunday. Okay, I'm hoping that this sounds okay. I also have, like, on, uh, on Steam Labs, I also have, like, the desktop audio set to, like, negative 13. So, uh, if it's still too loud or if y'all can't hear me, um, let me know. Um, God, it sounds so loud. Uh... Yeah, that sounds way too loud. I'd rather have more character voices up. Or, maybe I'll lower that. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, here. No, we'll do that. Okay, that doesn't sound ear-deafening. But, then again, I don't know how soft it's playing for you guys. Alright, we'll roll with this for a little bit. Alright. Um... One player control settings. Okay. So, I want my... So, this is vertical. Right. I'm trying to get it to where it was, like, matching the PS3 controllers. Okay. So, I want Y for horizontal. Right. X to be vertical. Right. Kick to guard. Or, like, A is kick. Um, and... B is guard. All right, so that was pretty much the PlayStation 3 coordination controls. Um, okay, so left 
bumper is A and B together, left trigger is A and kick together. Kick and guard is a thing? Alright, so we'll do... Right, so vertical and guard is just another way of grabbing. So what's kick and guard? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna find out. I'll make that right trigger. Alright, and then clicking in the right stick is going to be soul power. Alright, I think I got that. Um. Okay. Okay. I think I've got this. A, B, A, kick. B and guard. B and kick. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. I... Okay. There's that. There's that. Okay, so A, right, uh, kick, that, that, directional input. Okay, so I can also use the D-pad just in case. Alright, B. Alright. Hold on. Alright, uh, graphic setting is okay, because I made sure to, uh, do all that correctly. Okay. Um, stage music settings. Oh my gosh! That's a lot. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll worry about all that in a future time. All right, let's do it, gang. Um, all that is said and done. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that this is, like, you know, bearable to hear and play. All right, mission, Libra of Soul. Let's begin, gang. Create an original character and set forth on an adventure around the world where you'll experience the legend of the Cursed Sword from a different soul's perspective. All right, I'm all about it. Let's do it. Ooh, wow, nine save files? Holy cow. All right, well, start from the beginning. The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos, unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Okay. Was that Zasunil? Ooh, creating your character. Okay. Create a character by selecting race, body top, body type, body top, uh, body type, weapons, and more. All of these settings can be changed later. Okay. Ho! Oh! Bro! All right. Well, okay. So, this is what I have in mind about creating my character. So, in the, in the place in Soul Calibur 3, I made a male. So now for this one, I'm thinking about making a female. And um, so the one that I have in mind is, of course, um, oh my god, how in depth is this? <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be in depth. Um, so. I'm thinking of making Ninja Gaiden's very own Momiji from Ninja Gaiden. Um, if that takes like the entire stream, I I don't know. All right, let, let let's just let's just get to it. All right. So if I'm gonna make Momiji, okay. First of all, uh, warning: changing character, race, or gender. Yes, that's fine. All right. So. Oh my gosh! Human, outcast, lost soul, the lizard man! Really? You can just be a mummy? That's funny. You can just be a skeleton too! 
Auto Matten? Really? Shapeshifter? Oh, interesting. Colossus? Okay. Hidden Village Clan? Okay. Well, I mean, Momiji is a hidden village. Uh, you know. Ion A is better. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, well, I prefer Momiji. Mal oh, wait, what did I say? Malefic? Lost Soul Horn. Wait. Oh, it's like Angel and Devil? Question mark? Okay. <laughs> Dark Sider. Nice. Who is this? Malfested? Malfested mutated and Malfested fully transformed. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I apologize, folks. Uh, excuse me. Um, okay, well, uh, we're just gonna go with the human female. All right, let's do it. Okay, so in Ninja Gaiden, Momimi, uh, Momimi, <laughs> Momiji is, uh, I want to say, like, uh, change in height may affect the character's strength, the position of their patterns, etc. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Um, Momiji is... not want to say this tall? Oh, there's actually, like... Wait, why would she have, like, less power? Okay, whatever. I want to say she's about that height. Maybe a greatly slightly tall character? Yeah, I want to say that she's about this tall. Okay, that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, average is fine. Um, God, Momiji is like... Okay, let's see here. Is there a way to, like, remove this stuff? Can I, like, see what I'm modifying here? Muscle definition. I don't know if Momiji is defined muscle. Uh, oh, good God. Okay, like, I can't even see that. Alright. Alright, we'll just put her at two. Alright, so. Uh. Well, obviously, Momiji has, a uh, probably about a 10 plus size stomach. Wait. Wait a minute. How, what am I even modifying here? Oh, can I not change my armor or anything? Okay. Uh. Well, first of all, we gotta find the Momiji hair. That's the most important thing. Uh, which probably will not be here. Uh, well, if this was in a ponytail, sure. Okay, well, that ain't happening. Uh, Bob, pigtails, no. No. Geometric short, nope, nope. Nope. French braid, nope, nope, nope. Princess long. Yeah, she has it that, yeah, like, Momiji's hair is, like, really, really, really long. Oh, ponytail, here it is. How big of a ponytail? That is not as big as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, is there, like, any, like, ones bigger? Shinobi style? Wait, what's Shinobi style? Oh, that's... Wait, is that Taki's hairstyle? Okay, well... Oh... Long blade? What's a long blade? Uh... Well... I mean... Even though she doesn't have her hair in braids, that actually looks like the best option? Laird, Bob, Braided, French Braid, Connor, some of that. Uh. Okay, yeah, I think it's gonna be that. Okay. It's gonna be that one. Alright, uh. Let's see. I, I wish I knew what I was modifying. Um. Uh, female face. Uh, let's see. Momiji has. Uh, all right. I really like three. No, that's that's way too girly. 
way too girly. All right, I'm beginning to like Bree a lot. That's that's not even a woman. All right. Female seven. Okay. Female eight. Why are all these faces like man shaped? What's up with that? Okay, I really like three a lot. <laughs> Yeah, three is three is the way we're gonna do it. Okay. Um so there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna do long I mean I don't like braid the braids, but it's close enough. Alright, eyebrows. Uh oh god, Momiji's eyebrows. Uh honestly don't think it really actually that uh nope, not that. Uh Yep, I right, like that one. Uh, serious type. Oh my god. All right, voices. Well, since I... <sighs> since I played Ninja Gaiden in Japanese because I love her Japanese voice actor. Um... Okay, um, uh, what's the... Let's what's... get this fight started. Okay. Um... Let's get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. Wait, what let's is... get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. Okay, okay, so that's the let's pitch. get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. Oh god. Let's get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. I think I like that one. Let's get this fight started. What is this pitch? Let's get this fight started. Oh my god, like, why does she have an echo? Let's get this fight started. Oh my god, that sounds horrid. No, we're not gonna Let's get this fight started. Vocal tune, or tone. Let's get this fight started. Let's get this fight started. Oh my god, what did I just do? Let's get this fight started. 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 Oh my god, that was awful. Okay. Let's get this fight started. So I like the... Let's get this fight started. Okay, so I think I like that one. I think I like Let's all Let's get this of that. fight started. Okay, so yeah, that's Let's fine. get this fight started. Okay. I think we're gonna do that one. Uh, edit color. Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, first of all, we have to do the hair. Without a doubt. Um. Okay. I forget. Um, sorry, folks. What does... Okay. Uh, Ninja... Gaiden... Omiji... Okay, so what does she have for her great color? Is it red? Where is the picture? Uh, here's one. Uh, yeah, it's more or less red. Okay. Okay, so I got like a quick help me on guide on that. All right, so quick help me on. Oh, on well, my bad. So hit the wrong button. All right. So with that being said, all right, definitely. Uh, oh God, not white hair. All right, so black is black. Yeah, so right, the blackest of hair because the black hair is beautiful. Okay. Um, so her little thing in the back is going to be more red. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. Uh, her eyebrows are, yeah, mostly, well, I gotta, duh, make it black. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Uh, all right, so that's everything. Uh, that's her armor. Uh, Momiji is actually, uh, yeah, Momiji is actually a, kind of a little bit more, not completely pale, but, oh god, not that. Uh Try 
to like try and get a good angle here. Yeah. Well, golly. Like, she's not that pale. Oh, God, not red, please. So what's the default color? All right, so that's default. How do you get that color down here? I don't want her to be red. I don't, oh God, definitely don't want to be her Hulk colors. Uh, I definitely don't want her to be that pale. A little subtle on this woman. Alright, I think that that ought to do it. Alright, yeah, I think I like that color. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh. Oh, her eyes. Right, so her eyes are more or less like a deep orange. Uh, is there a way I can, like. There we go. So her eyes are more or less orange. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More or less orange. There we go. Okay. Uh. Yeah. It's bright orange is the sun. Uh. Alright. Sorry, guys. This is going to take like 9 million years because when it has a deep infrastructure, uh. Character creation? Oh man, you can know that I'll be there forever. Trying to make the perfect girl. Alright, here we go. Alright, so there's orange. Uh, eyelids, yeah, that's fine. White is fine. Uh, right, so that's pretty much. Well, pretty much that, per se. Um, okay. Um, alright, so long blade, uh, female face three, slightly. Average height. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Uh, so... Can, is that all I can edit? Oh yeah, that's literally all I can edit. Okay. Um... Oh, what oh, one button. Okay, um... I'm gonna change anything else. Uh, I wish I could see what I was, um... I, I really wish I could see what was I modifying here. Um, upper arms? What does that mean? Like, her, like, oh, okay, so like, muscle. Well, let me just go, uh, she doesn't have that much muscle, but she makes up for it. Alright, uh, I'll probably put all this at negative six just to keep it something. Her, what is that, her, like, her collarbone? Uh, put it at the armor is covering everything. I, I literally can't see what I'm modifying here. Uh, hips? Uh, well, I mean... You know, Momiji is... Kind of skinny. Yeah. I uh, hope I did it. Uh, thighs? Uh, Momiji does have... Well, I mean, to be fair. I can never tell because she's covered in literally everything. Uh, nah, her thighs are... Or, uh, oh, oh god! Um, yeah, I gotta go up there. Um, her thighs are more or less... I'll leave it at negative eight. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, calves. Really? I had to manually remove the armor? Uh, there was no option for it. Uh, calves? Really? I'll put it at same thing. Uh, stomach? Uh, wait. It's a stomach. Uh, she's got like a thin stomach. Uh, yeah, chest. Yeah, wait, wait. Oh my God, they even go into depth about the waist too. All right, well, I'll make that a negative five. Uh, okay. Muscle definition. All right, that's fine. Uh, well, I guess that's Momiji. Um. Uh, right. So there is, like, no... Unless I can do it in the other one, because all I can do is just edit color. And there's, like, no option to turn it off or on or off. 
Alright, well, I guess I'll do that. Alright, well, uh, finish setting. Okay, so, in Ninja Gaiden, Omiji used a Naginata. So, the only thing that's relatively close is, uh, probably 100% Songmina. Oh, if I made Ryu Hayabusa, it would definitely be Mitsurugi. Alright. Uh... Podoa? That is a massive sword. Are the, uh... Are the original Soul Calibur 3 weapons in here as well? Or is this just, uh... Okay, so it just looks like... No, it just looks like Soul Calibur characters. Okay, yeah, it definitely just looks like Soul Calibur. Uh... Sword and spear? Oh, that's sword and spear. No. Where is, uh... Sunbot? Oh, I... Oh, I, I'm assuming that that's, um... Okay, yeah, so that's... Song... Mina. Okay. So, yeah. So, Mina. Okay, okay. So, there's, like... Okay, so there's no, uh... There's no, like, specific, uh, stuff like there was in Soul Calibur 3. Okay. There we go. Character name! Max character- Oh. Uh. Oh, I, I- I guess at this point I gotta use the keyboard. Alright. Mo Michi. There we go. Alright, sweet. Alright. Well, Momichi, let's head out! If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. All right. I like it. All right, let me move back this. There we go. Fifteen eighty four. Wow. Journey's Dawn. Uh, what do I do? So, more or less, uh, about how long is this campaign? Is it pretty, is it pretty big? I'm actually hoping it's pretty big because this looks awesome. <laughs> All right, journey's dawn, convergence. What do we do here? Was that Cervantes? Momiji, question mark, or exclamation point. Why is next X? When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was the nightmare I've had, or I'd had. I could, but I could barely catch my breath of stopping or shaking. Never played it? What? You're telling me that you had Soul Calibur 6 and you never played this? What? Oh, this looks like it's gonna be fun. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet, but strong will. My name is Zosilamil, a.k.a. Sam Cassell. I know what happened to you, and I know what happened to you. You were greatly affected by the soul evil seed. Only played it against your friends? Gotcha. You were greatly affected, affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a malfested, but I'm afraid you may not escape death. Interesting. Uh, ask about the evil seed. Okay, now why is it A? It is a great evil that burst forth from Western Europe as a torrent of light and rang down around the world. 
Ask about the Malfest. Uh, they are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Uh, many Malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Lucky for you, fate put you on a different path. Ask about your nightmare and the headache. Uh, your body does not appear to have been altered by the evil seed. However, it seems to have affected your soul. And I apologize, folks. Uh... Excuse me. Ooh, I feel so much better now. Linking it to what is called the Astral Chaos. <laughs> it, it, it almost went Astral Chain there. Wait, did Astral... Oh, wait, I think Astral Chain came out... Yeah, Astral Chain came out later. All right, there you go. The Astral Chaos... <laughs> I almost said Chain again. Uh, is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and headache are a sign of what is to come. Do not ask anything. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. Yeah, Momiji needs to learn how to extend her life. Oh, here we go. Drona's battle to... Er, Drona? Drona? Battle to Toru. The area next to Journey's Dawn is the Dojo of Drona, a martial art master. Here, you can play the battle tutorial for Soul Calibur 6. Visit Drona Dojo to train before starting your adventure. Uh, moving between areas. If you, you can move from your current location to any location you have previously visited by pressing X. Change location. To open a list of available locations. If you want to play the battle tutorial, choose Drona's Dojo. Okay. Uh, so, can I move it? Wait, oh, oh, change location, right, they did just say X. Alright, I'll probably wanna... Alright, yeah, I probably wanna do it. Uh, training, the basics. Uh, I heard rumors of a famous local dojo by running well respected man named Drona, who was reputed to be adept in martial arts. This is a tutorial on the basis of combat and the battle system. No, the explanation referred to the game's difficult control. Learn the basic controls and battle system. Alright, let's do it. Excuse me. I learned a highly respectable martial arts instructor of India named Drona, phrased at the very model of a warrior. Uh, I made my way across Tyrannus Mountains Pass and traverse crumbling ledges before finally reaching my destination, a dojo surrounded by burbling mountain streams. Uh, to one of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastically practicing with weapons, having come far from and wide. I heard many of them even came from royal or noble bloodlines, unlike the master's humble boots. Hail, traveler! What business do you have deep down in the mountains? I told them my name and that I've come here to learn. Well, Momiji, I never refuse anyone with a desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I've earned the ear of local king. Uh, if you stay, you too may find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded and he, and he continued. Very well, I will train you, but before we begin, let me see your skills. Oh, man. You got another thing coming for you, dude. All right, let's do it. Okay, so... Left bumper was A, B. Left trigger was B. Oh, here we go. Movement. Oh, here we go. Wow, this looks great. Uh, press and hold the direction with... To run in that direction. This is called eight-way run. Additionally, you can lightly press the direction to perform a quick step in the direction. Oh, quick step? Form an eight-way run. Completed. Oh, okay. Attacking. Uh, press X to hinder your opponent's movement with a horizontal attack. A performs a damaging vertical, and B to unleash a quick kick. Kick to perform close-range combat. So. One. Okay. Completed. All right, clear, baby. Uh, basic combo attack. Rapid press any attack button to form a combo attack unique to each character. You can perform a basic combo attack by repeatedly pressing Y, X, or Y, either by themselves or while pressing the direction input. Right. Guarding. Uh, 
Press and hold A to guard against your opponent's sex. Guarding from a standing position will protect you against aim at your upper body. Okay. Completed. Okay. And then crouch guarding. Okay. Press down while holding guard from the crouching guard. Completed. All right, sweet. Uh, low attacks are used to aim for your opponent's legs, so you can perform by pressing down and an attack button together. Oh, okay, so like down, like in the opposite direction. Okay. Reversal edge. Okay. Press and hold, uh, which will allow you to defend yourself by pairing your opponent's attacks, following up with your own. Successfully landing a reversal edge will create some distance between you and your opponent, cause you, uh, hit your opponent with a reversal edge. Uh, your heart's just not in it. Your heart's just not in it. Oh, that's a taunt. Wait. What in the world? How about this? Uh, what's a uh, what's a rope? Take this. Our bumper. That's not a reversal edge. What button do I have to hit? Whoa, that was pretty hot. Uh, what button is it? Did I not assign it? I'll end this. Brace yourself! Uh, On guard! How uh, about that's this? pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I sent this move to. Hold on. Oh, nope. That ain't it. What move are they asking me to do? Whatever right bumper was whatever right button was eventually apparently do they want me to guard now stay down <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's asking me to do.
Your heart's just not in it. I don't know what... What am I not doing? So, kick and guard is... Right... Uh, is it... Was it asking me for to do this one? On guard! Oh! Okay, that's what they were asking me to do. Okay. After taking a fighting stance, both you and your opponent will enter a clash phase in which actions can be formed by with X, Y, or B, each resulting in a different attack. The attacks all have a rock, scissors, paper relationship with one another. Where X... So, vertical beats guard no okay vertical beats guard guard beats horizontal and horse beats y okay so there's no kick okay okay no chance wow that was amazing carry an attack with a reversal list <laughs> I gotta wait till he hits me. This is nothing. I Come on, hit me already. Give up. You wretch. yellow gauge at the top of the screen is your soul gauge. Pressing, well, I've changed it to this. Gauge is at one or higher will light from a critical edge. A special attack that inflicts a mass amount of damage to your opponent. I'll end this. Brace yourself. On guard. I won't let you. Completed. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. Soul charge. Uh, will allow you to perform a soul charge, which may send your opponent flying temporarily. Increase the amount of damage you inflict, among other things. While your soul charge is in effect, soul, the soul gauge changes appearance and indicate the remaining. <laughs> uh, okay. I, good God, I need to find out. So... So I need to get rid of. Oh, what? Nope. All right, let's try that one. So what is a soul? How do you do a troll charge again? Okay, honestly, there we go. All right, there we go. Grant me strength! Oh, jeez! Alright. Completed! You can also perform powerful techniques called fierce attacks while a sword charge is in effect. Uh, you can view a list of fierce attacks for each character by selecting gauge attacks from the moose set. Additionally, special attacks called soul attacks can be used to gain soul charge effects while launching on offensive attack against the enemy. The command to perform a soul attack is all of that and right trigger, which can be used with any character. This concludes the basic tutorial. You should now have enough information about the different attack and guard option available to you, as well as a good idea on how to use your soul gauge. With this knowledge at your fingertips, you'll be able to hold your own in battle. Golly! Battle tutorial. Defeat your opponent. Got him. 
time. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. I need to change at least. Okay, so X or A. Yep. B. Yep. Kick. Yep. B. Oh, whoop. And guard is B. Okay, so with that being said, so I don't have. Okay, so left trigger is A and B. Uh, what's this? Yes. Yes. How about this? <laughs> Ah. Alright, I'll take it. You appear to have mastered the basic fighting technique. Master Drawing Expansion grew cloudy. Uh, let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down on me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. And yet, when that time came, I still could not defeat him. It turned out I was unable to actually use the technique when the, when the chance came. My fellow, my folly became evident. Instead of focusing on learning a flashy technique, I should have worked on improving a, my fundamental skills. So, I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals, which, when I was satisfied, I went to challenge him again once again. But I was too late. He already lost his life in a war against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son who claimed vengeance against the one who slew his father only a half a year later. Now he is a warrior even more skilled than his father was. Take this letter of introduction. If you have the chance, you should pay him a visit. I took Master Jordan's letter, thanked him, and left the dojo behind. Okay, okay, so basically, yeah, I need to just do the default. Alright, hey, rewards! Alright, alright, player points, I'll take it! Okay. Ooh, new training. All right, all right. Uh, attacking, huh? Excuse me. Uh, when I went to see Master Jordan, he greeted me warmly. Today, our practice would focus on attacks. Uh, learn a variety of attacks and offensive attacks. Uh, all right, let's do it. It's good to see you again. Uh, Master Jordan greeted me with a warm smile when I arrived at his dojo. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Come to train, perhaps? If so, I applaud your dedication. Today, I'd like to teach you about the many different attacks you can employ in battle. Alright, well, let's get to it. Crouching attacks. Alright. Uh, while in crouching... Uh, Gar, press release A and press an attack button to perform a crouching attack. You perform a rising attack by pressing up in the direction of the attack button as you stand. Okay. So, one, two, one, two. Ooh. Completed. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, so that's my get up attack. Not bad. Dual button attack. Alright, so that's, yeah, basically press X, Y, or Y, B to form a dual button attack. Alright, so, uh... Got him. Okay, so that's... Wow, just a slam a jam. Eight-way eight -way run moves. Press an attack button during an eight-way run after pressing a direction with it twice to perform a unique directional attack known as an eight-way run attack. Details for each character attack can be viewed from the move list in the pause room. Oh, now you'll stay down. Tap. That's it. Boosh. Throwing. Ah, all right. Throwing is just A and B, right? Uh, those effect against techniques. Uh, press left trigger or left trigger to grab your opponent's throat. One is all I need. Boosh. Uh. Now you'll stay down. There we go. All right, I'll take it. Special attacks. Oh boy. Uh, break attacks. Uh, left bumper are characteristics by streaks of lightning and cannot be blocked with the reversal edge. Unblockable attacks are characterized by flames and cannot be blocked by your opponent. The former are marked on the move list with BA, while the latter are marked with UA. Oh, whoop. 
Okay, uh, hit your opponent with a break attack. Completed. Interesting. Oh, okay. That is all I know about uh, attack types. Next, I'd like to teach you about the effects you can inflict on your opponent using your attacks. Okay. Okay. Hey! More EXP? I'll take it. Uh, attack two, right? Uh, during our time together, Master Joiner reminisced about his time training. Uh, this is an advanced tour. No, this was. So yeah, I'll just have to just get used to these default controls. Offense is not about attacking wildly. Uh, in order to claim victory against a skillful foe, you must know when you and what you technique. So let's begin your next lesson. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. Countering. Oh, okay. So here we go. Uh, attacking your opponent as they perform a certain action will activate a counter hit. Uh, Ruin! Oh god in heaven! Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm Got him. Stuns. Okay, certain attacks will send yellow streaks of lightning through your opponent, causing them to stagger. Jesus! Completed. Wow! What the freak was that? Rushing an opponent's guard. Continue to attack your opponent as they guard will cause your opponent's health gauge to begin flashing yellow and eventually red. Attacking your opponent while it's red will crush their guard, leaving them vulnerable and providing. Oh, okay. So they kind of fix like the like the blocking. Okay. Take this. Take this. Take I see. Okay, so they fixed that. Interesting. Uh, landing attacks on your circuit condition, for example. Uh, but count. This is it. Oh my God! What the world? Weakly. Okay, landing. This is it. Not again. Hey. Okay. A list of the various conditions and attacks that can trigger lethal hits for each character can be found in the booklet. Wow, there is like a whole lot to this. Jiminy Christmas. Who would have thought? Uh, you've grown more skilled, but as you continue to advance, you will no doubt eventually be, uh, find yourself against a seemingly insumable wall. Uh, let me tell you a story from my past. When I was young, I traveled the world as an uh, an itinerant warrior. Itinerant warrior. Itinerant warrior? Uh, one day, I was in the distant north of the Ming Empire in a place called Sichuan. I told Drona that Sichuan was in the southwest of the Ming Empire, but he simply looked at me puzzled. It is? Really? Well, whatever it may be, I was there. And let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. It was during my time when them and I met Hong Yu. Hong Yu was a strong and beautiful young woman. Her slender limbs wielded a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attacks, nimbly moving like a young willow tree in the, bait, in the breeze. I immediately fell in love with her. However, she told me she could never love me unless I could beat her in a combat. In a, col in a contest of strength, I beat her easily, but her defense was impenetrable. My attacks were blocked, parried, and avoided. I couldn't even touch her. That was because I had not yet learned how to pierce a talented foe's defense. I have learned a thing or two since then. Since an effectiveness of throws against an opponent 
who rarely lets their guard down, and that there are special techniques that break through any guard. But back then, she defeated me and said she had no interest in the week. I left, trained as hard as I could, and eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, she had already wed another. If you ever pass through Shichun, it would do you well to see her skills for yourself. I'm sure the experience will come in handy. Bowing to take his advice to heart, I left the dojo. Woo! Hey, more EXP, I'll take it! Oh my god. How many? Alright, well, defense, let's do it. Uh, defense. Master's next lesson would be about the art of defense. Uh, practice two strategies for dodging and reflecting attacks. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I visited a dojo to find Drona at the gate, seeing off another visitor. Uh, take care, and don't oversell the skills you learned here. Got it? Uh, yes, Master. Thank you so much for everything. I promise that one day I'll come back to visit. Uh, with those parting words, Drona's student bra uh, bowed, and then began trudging down the mountain path away from the dojo. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Back for more training as well. Well, come on in. When I asked about the man who had just left, Master told me he was a student who had come from the desert in the northern reaches of the Ming Empire. Uh, on my way home from the romantic defeat at the hands of Huang Yu, a man saved my life in the desert. The student you just saw came here on that man's recommendations. The desert? To reach India from Sichuan, you have to head southwest. The desert was in the complete opposite direction. What's that professed look? Oh, I get it. Training first, talking later. Well, today I'm going to teach you about guarding and evading. Okay. Well, let's let's hop to it, gang. Man, it, like this frame might be just a tutorial. Alright, evading vertical attacks. Uh, you can dodge your opponent's vertical attacks by moving into foreground, background, or the screen. Uh so weak! Think. So weak! So weak! Oh god. So weak! Got him completed! Okay. So wow, like you get behind him really you get behind him really good. Forming a crouching guard will I protect yourself against the Completed. Okay, so yeah. So that's just the art of guarding. Attacks on the command list are marked with, uh, indicate whether they can be blocked with a standing guard or a crouching guard. Oh my gosh, okay. A standing guard can block all attacks except those marked with L, low attack. A crouching guard cannot block attacks marked with middle attacks, but can help you avoid those marked with high attacks. Both types of guards can protect you from attacks marked with uh, special middle attacks. And special low attacks marked with uh, can be avoided with jumps and jumping attacks. God, interesting. Evading low attacks. Uh, hold up while guarding the jump. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Got him. Got him. Completed. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, this is ought to be something. Grapple breaks. Grapple breaks allow you to free yourself from the opponent's grip and avoid taking a great deal of damage. Uh, grab. I will. End it all. I will. Oh, jeez. End it all. When grab. When grab your opponent. Press. Uh, kick. Uh, it can also form a grappling break. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Ugh. I will end it all. Ugh. I will end it all. Golly, that was like quick. I will end it all. Oh wait, that's like vertical. Line. I will. Oh jeez. End it all. Wait, yeah, that does. Yeah. Oh, did I not do that? Yeah. I will. 
Shit, creepers. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so that's how you escape encounter. A grapple break can still be performed even as you continue to guard by rapidly by pressing X, Y, or B while holding A. By doing this, not only can you guard against your opponent's mental attacks, but also avoid being thrown. Make it an offensive technique worth praising. However, grapple breaks will not work on crows, where the red effect is emitted when the opponent is grabbed. Okay. Alright. Very good. Those are the fundamentals of defense. Your lessons after this will be much harder. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Well, I mean, we might as well just get this out of the way. This is a lot to take in. Alright. Defense 2. Uh, during our time together, master remnants about the days of the old train. Uh, learn how to recover from getting hit and how to deflect your opponent's attacks. Okay, so I guess that's where we're going to start learning about parry. Evading an attack entirely is usually the best option, but in serious battle, you don't always have that luxury. When you're pressed hard by a dangerous opponent, what do you do? Well, I'll teach you some techniques that'll help you grasp, grasp victory from the jaws of defeat. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be parrying, huh? Look at me. Uh, when knocked back or to the ground by your opponent, press as you hit the ground. Uh. Okay, that's a counter. Okay, I... I don't... God, I do not get this. Now, why is it, uh, why is it a of all things. I'm not. Why can I not do this? I strike true. It ends here. Okay, I don't get this. I'm just about to start spamming. One is all I need. I cannot perform this Ukumi. When knocked back or to the ground by your opponent attack, press and A just as you hit the ground. I do not get how to perform this. Like, this must be, like, super time. 
I do not I do not get this now you'll stay down like like I do not get like what it means by when I hit the ground I just can't perform this can rise on the ground immediately uh, guarding the yeah. attack by pressing A while on the ground. Additionally, pressing the attack yeah. button on the ground will allow you to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Roll before getting up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I could not do that at Ukumi. Aerial control. Control where you fall after being launched in the air by holding in any direction. This will allow you to avoid additional attacks from your opponent, as well as prevent a ring out. This and this are the safest option, but holding that direction opposite the ring edge is the best. Okay. Good God in heaven. That guy just, like, killed me. Completed. Okay, so that escapes like aerial combos. Got it. Guard impact time! You can repel your opponents by pressing that and A. Okay. 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 Yeah, chew on that. Oh, right, it's gone. Not likely. Oh, no. Not likely. Completed. Got him, boosh! Uh, resist impacts are powerful guard impacts that can deflect even break attacks and unblockable moves. Use right bumper to deplete your soul gauge to form a resist impact. Deflecting an opponent's attack will restore some of your guard stamina. Reverse impacts. Having your attacks repelled uh, will leave you vulnerable, but you are able to perform your own guard impact in this state. This is called reverse impact. Weekly. Okay, gotcha. Weekly. There we go. Repel. Uh. Uh. Okay. Not likely. Oh, no. oh shit! Yeah. You're not limited to just reverse impacts while staggered. You can also use reversal edge. Reverse impacts are perfect for countering your opponent's faster attacks, and reversal edges can help you repel their slower attacks. Learning the proper techniques for dealing with all your opponent's different attacks is key to figure. Alright, not bad. Alright, god, there's a lot of stuff in this game now. After the fight, Drona got a nostalgic look on the face and continued the story from earlier. Uh, to be quite honest, I have a habit of accidentally going somewhere entirely different from where I intended. That's how I end up wandering for three days and nights in the Gobi Desert. I was on my last legs when a merchant caravan found me. It took me to Kashgar, and that's where I met one incredible fellow. His name was Klitsch. He was a weaponsmith and one of town and warrior. He could fight with any weapon in any style after the sun. In battle, he was relentless, giving his opponent very little opportunity to act. He always... He always said he fought to test our weapons he made, 
though it's hard to believe he thought of a fighting so casual. I'll never forget it for the first warrior. Oh, whoop. If only I'd known how to, def how to deflect attacks when I was in defensive, I might have been able to put him off balance. Alas, it was all I could do to block his attacks at the time. And before I knew it, I was defeated. If you're ever in Kashgar, I recommend to go see Kilt or Klitsch. He's an expert warrior and a first-rate weaponsmith. You won't regret meeting him. A warrior smith? He did sound like someone I'd like to meet. I decided to keep Jordan's recommendation in mind. Alright, wow, more people. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah! More power, alright. How many more, uh... Oh my gosh! Reversal Edge? Jeez, okay. I'm just gonna get all this tutorial stuff out of the way. Sorry, folks. This might be just the tutorial stream. Uh, the sun had barely risen from the horizon when I went to visit Master. Our lesson today would be about tactics. Learn the ins and outs of Reversal Edge. Follow up attacks. Let's do it. Uh, you're up early again. Good. Diligence and hard work are the keys to developing a skilled and hand sound bounty. Uh, body. Your dedication is admirable. Now, let's go into your final lesson. Oh, the final lesson. I'm talking about the clashes that emerge in the heat of battle, which requires you to think on your feet. Okay. Um, sure. Let's do it, gang. Uh, Reversal Edge Class Stalemates. Okay. Pressing the same button as your opponent during the class after Reversal Edge will result in a stalemate. In an event as a stalemate, both you and your opponent will enter a second round of the class in which another button press will be necessary. Okay. Uh, right, so that's left. Nope, wrong button. Uh, nope, wrong button. There it is. Stalemate. Boosh! Got him. Uh, reaching a stalemate with your opponent isn't the only way you can extend a reversal edge class. If you press Y uh, and your opponent presses A, you can break through their guard and extend the clash. By forcing your opponent to guard against your Y attacks, you can greatly deplete their guard stamina. Oh, okay. Well, Y is... So... No. Y is now A. Okay, I gotta remember that these are default controls. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wrong, wrong on guard. So this is this one. Give up! You wretch! Got him. Completed. All right. Movement. Oh, movement. All right. You can also move during the clash after reversal edge by pressing in any direction. Move toward. Move forward to dodge X. Move in the foreground background to avoid Y, and move back to evade B. Uh, reading your opponent and timing your dodge will let you open them up to combos. Okay. I strike through. Got ya. Oh, interesting. Okay. That was just a wild guess. Countering. A reversal edge can be a reliable defensive technique. However, it is not without its flaws. Break attacks and unblockable attacks are unaffected uh, by reversal edge. Land in Oh, God. Okay. Uh... Thank you. Land and attack immune. Well, that was the wrong one. Not again. I hit the right bumper is not what I want to do. This is nothing. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Right, that's where it is. I'll end this. A lethal attack. Boosh. Ow. Ugh. Not again. There we go. Move to dodge reversal. All right, that was easy. Uh. Completed. Wow, that's easier to dodge more than anything. 
Alright, well, there's that. Yeesh. Alright, that was well fought. Sparring match. From the fall from the flow of the battle, I can see that your training has far been time well spent. Uh flow, you ass. That's right. Battle ebb and flow. Just like the tides. You need to read that flow and think for a moment ahead if you want to win. That's the secret. Speaking of which, remember that merchant caravan that picked me up in the Gobi Desert? They ended up hiring me on a guard on as a guard, and together we traveled down the port in Persia. It was a big city, so I thought we could find a ship and take me back to India. As luck would have it, I soon boarded a training ship on its way to India, which promptly was sunk by a raging tempest right as we left the Persian Gulf. For days, I floated on a piece of driftwood until I washed up on the shores of Africa. My clothes were tattered and torn, but I still had my weapon. Of course, that was just made the natives think I was a pirate, and I soon found myself fighting off a local warrior by the name of Boldy. Uh, I like to believe we were evenly matched in strength and speed, but Woldy was far more experienced than, than I. He would read the flow of battle like a book. I couldn't, and whenever we clashed, I foolishly tried to pull off the same move time and time again. That's why I lost. Fortunately, I managed to clear up the misunderstanding. Woldy and I grew close, and eventually we swore an oath of friendship. He invited me to his home in Aksum, and that's where I met his sister, a woman who had become my wife. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Aksum, be sure to meet Woldy. He's an incredible warrior. And if you wouldn't mind, please tell him I'm extremely grateful for everything he's done for me. And that his sister and I are both healthy and happy. You got it, man. You got it, dope. Alright, more EXP. Ba -ba -ba boosh I'll take it. Alright, well, let's... Gang, let's freaking wrap it up. Uh, new techniques. Uh, train, new techniques. Uh, condition to master the basics of soul attacks and resistance impacts and gear up an all new kind of battle. Interesting. The nature of battle is ever changing. If you would continue to stand on the front lines, then you must stay ab 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 abreast of the newest techniques. Okay, let's do this. Soul attacks. Uh, you can use soul attacks by pressing uh, when at least one bar of your soul gauge is filled. Soul attacks allow you to enter a soul charge state while attacking, Use, which is useful when you want to maintain more offensive energy in battle. Let's start. Jesus! Oh! Resistant impacts. You can unleash a powerful guard impact and resist with the prompt. Ruin! Oh, jeez. 